In his speech, remarks by the president at the dedication of statue honoring Rosa Parks, how does President Obama develop a personal connection to the life and actions of Rosa Parks? In this lesson, you will learn how to analyze connections between individuals by examining the impact of connections on the author's message. This is a real speech based on historical events. This is a nonfiction text delivered by President Obama on February 27, 2013. The President was speaking to members of Congress and other dignitaries to dedicate a permanent statue to Rosa Parks. Let's review. Authors use interactions between specific individuals to influence ideas in the text. Today we will examine the impact of connections to the author's message. We will use these three steps. 1. Reread, highlighting personal connections. 2. Ask yourself, what is the nature of the author's connection to the individual? 3. Ask yourself, how do the connections influence the author's message? In his speech, remarks by the President at the dedication of statue honoring Rosa Parks, how does President Obama develop a personal connection to the life and actions of Rosa Parks? Again, this is our text. Today we will be focusing on several paragraphs in which President Obama makes personal connections to Rosa Parks. Reread highlighting personal connections. Well, as I scan the text, I want to look for evidence in which President Obama makes personal connections to Rosa Parks. I can see in paragraph 3 that the President starts to compare Rosa Parks to important historical figures. Here is a close-up of the text. In this sentence, the President states, she takes her rightful place among those who've shaped this nation's course. Hmm, let me think of some important people who have shaped this nation's course. George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, Martin Luther King Jr., and President Obama come to mind. This is important. The speaker, President Obama, equates Rosa Parks to those in history who have made substantial contributions to change this nation, and this includes himself. As I continue to look for personal connections, I notice in paragraph 11, Obama speaks of Rosa Parks' character. I wonder, what is the personal connection? Well, in this paragraph, Obama maintains that Rosa Parks tells us there's always something we can do. She tells us we all have responsibilities to ourselves and one another. She reminds us of how change happens, not mainly through the exploits of the famous and powerful, but through courage and kindness of ordinary people. President Obama's words are spoken as though Rosa Parks is giving him this advice personally of what is possible. Ask yourself, what is the nature of the author's connection to the individual? Well, what do I know so far? I know Obama connects Rosa Parks to those in history who have influenced change and he himself is part of that history. Parks reminds Obama how this change happens. President Obama maintains that through countless acts of anonymous courage, kindness, and responsibility, that we expand our conception of justice, of what is possible. So what does that say about the nature of Barack Obama's personal connection to Rosa Parks? Well, Obama acknowledges that the world was different before Rosa Parks stepped on that bus. And afterwards, she launched a movement that changed our country's future course, a future in which President Obama was born and raised. So because of Rosa Parks, President Obama's future opportunities were possible before he was even born. Rosa Parks affected what Barack Obama was able to accomplish in his own life. Ask yourself, how did the connections influence the author's message? Here is our text. When the author states that Rosa Parks' singular act of disobedience launched a movement, he is referring to the Civil Rights Movement. And that event was critical, for it led to the eventual election of the first African-American president of the United States. President Obama declares, It is because of these men and women that I stand here today. With this statement, Obama makes a direct personal connection to those who take their rightful place in history, including and especially Rosa Parks. The quote establishes that Barack Obama and Rosa Parks are forever linked in history. President Obama is explicitly saying that without Rosa Parks' activism, he would not have been standing at this current event, unveiling her statue as the President of the United States. 
In his speech, remarks by the president at the dedication of statue honoring Rosa Parks, how does President Obama develop a personal connection to the life and actions of Rosa Parks? President Obama develops a personal connection to the life of Rosa Parks by inferring that Parks is a role model to him. She reminds him of his personal responsibilities to society as a citizen and as a leader. Obama acknowledges that the world was different before Rosa Parks stepped on that bus. Her actions are an example of how these responsibilities are effectively demonstrated. She launched a movement that would change a nation and Barack Obama's potential future years before he was born. President Obama credits Rosa Parks' activism with his achievement of becoming the first African-American president of the United States. Today we examined the impact of connections on the author's message. We used three steps. One, reread highlighting personal connections. Two, ask yourself, what is the nature of the author's connection to the individual? Three, ask yourself, how do the connections influence the author's message? In this lesson, you have learned how to analyze connections between individuals by examining the impact of connections on the author's message.